Hi, this is Mike Maloney with Jeff Clark and another frequently asked question. Jeff, what have you got? Hi, Mike. Uh, this is an interesting one, and more than one person has asked about this, so I thought I would throw it out to you. Uh, and it came to my attention because of this recent article from, uh, this was on Bloomberg, uh, basically saying that Goldman Sachs is reporting that the financial conditions in the U.S. are the easiest on record, meaning it's the easiest time to borrow money and the most optimal time to, to borrow currency. Uh-oh, Dan's going to ding me there but to borrow currency um, at these low rates. So Mike, the question becomes uh, for some people, is there a scenario under which you would actually uh, take out a loan to buy gold and silver because rates are so low and gold and silver have so high to go? So what do you think about that scenario of actually taking out a loan to buy uh, gold and silver? Well, it's funny that you should mention that because I'm in the process of doing that right now. Um, I'm buying a farm and uh, the farm, you know, they're, they're, I'm going to, um, I've accumulated almost everything in my life without accumulating any debt. Uh, and uh, in my book, I wrote, and this was back in 2005, six or seven, that I wrote that gold and silver uh, will perform, outperform the other financial assets but one of the scenarios that you can use is, is if you go into debt at just the right time, and that's before big inflation or hyperinflation, going into debt can be a very good thing if you do that. However, uh, to me, uh, you sh I'm not taking on uh, any debt that I couldn't afford to pay off like that by liquidating some other assets. I don't want the debt. I don't want to be owned by a bank. Um, and a lot of people rent their lives from the bank. I don't rent my life, I own my life. Um, so I am going to, th this farm needs a lot of work. I'm going to finance it so that I have capital to be able to put into the farm and so on. Uh, but uh, there will be a significant amount uh, left over uh, from the financing that I'll be able to pull out and turn into uh, precious metals. Um, and so, uh, you know, because I've, I've basically been able to accumulate the cash to buy this farm. It's just that I don't want to use it all on the farm. I want to use a bunch of it for the work that we're doing on the farm to make it habitable because right now it's not. And, uh, and then uh, the balance goes into buying gold and silver. And so I am actually going to do uh, what you've just said. Uh, the, the fi financial uh, conditions being the easiest uh, in history, I don't believe that. It's still not a, a breeze to take out a loan. Uh, you know, I have uh, a very, very high credit score, and I've got uh, a lot of assets that I've accumulated, and currently, uh, you know, no debt. And so, but still, the <laughs> banks put make you drew jump through hoop after hoop after hoop uh, to get a loan. Uh, it's, it's not a very, it's not a simple process unless you're somebody uh, like, uh, you know, a Robert Kiyosaki or somebody that's got a lot of properties that is dealing with the bank every day and the bank really knows. him. Um, but I still believe that your assets should exceed your liabilities, uh, that it's, it's important to make sure a, a lot of people, you know, there was a book that uh, Alex, the president of goldsilver.com, uh, had me read, um, uh, Freedom, and I can't remember the other one, but it's, it's uh, sort of uh, written as a, it's almost like a video game, but it's the future in America, and uh, there's these glasses that somebody can wear. And they can pull up information about anybody that they're looking at, like you're in a video game. And he pulled up financial information, and above everybody's head, there's you know either red or green numbers. And most people are walking around with a negative net worth. Uh, and that is the way society is today. These can become the future debt slaves of tomorrow. So I, if you if you already have a negative net worth, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, taking out a loan to buy gold and silver unless you're so confident that the payoff is going to be so big that it'll 
turn that net worth positive, then you may want to take that chance. But I make no recommendations. I never make any recommendations of, on anything anyway. What I do is I tell people what I'm doing. And what I'm doing right now is uh, for the, I, I am now uh, taking out a loan and part of it is going to fix up the ranch. The other part is going to, uh, uh, it's going to be plowed into gold and especially silver at these gold silver ratios. So that's, that's my plan. It's my story and I'm sticking with it. There you go. All right. And we <laughs> want to be careful. We're not making any advice here, of course. Uh, right. And taking out a loan for any purpose is, is risky. So you have to be careful, even with rates really low right now. Yeah. So your ability- If you're, if you're locked in on a long-term loan on a rate, it's not variable, and you have the assets to be able to liquidate those assets and pay off the loan at any time to make sure that you aren't one of the people that becomes a debt slave. Then, uh, it, then it's not as risky, but you know, life is a risk. So, um, uh, you know, I have most of my wealth stored in money. I've got um, uh, too much currency right now, and I've got some more currency coming. And I'm going to uh, take out a loan, turning some of the value of the ranch into currency, and that is going into uh, gold and silver. There you go. Yeah, the future is uncertain, uh, which is another reason why we need to own gold and silver, right? So, yep. uh, so just just be careful. Um, but Mike, thanks for addressing this. I think this will help some people that were uh, considering this uh, topic. So, yeah. so thanks, Mike, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, thank you, Jeff.